Seven million camels move across the world each year, yet few witness how these towering desert giants are transported. Unlike cattle or horses, camels are stubborn, powerful and built for extremes, making their movement a logistical challenge. From Australian wild herds shipped to the Middle East to million-dollar racing camels flown in specialized aircraft, their transport is anything but ordinary. But how do handlers move them safely across continents and what makes their journey so uniquely complex? Before the sun fully rises, traders converge in a sea of dust and sound. Camels bellow, their heavy bodies shifting in cramped enclosures. These markets are not just places of business, they are the beating heart of an ancient trade. In places like Sudan's Omdurman livestock market or the sprawling trade hubs of Somalia, thousands of camels stand tethered, waiting for a buyer. Some have traveled for days across desert landscapes, herded by nomadic families who rely on their sale for survival. Others, freshly caught from the wild, stamp their feet and pull against their ropes, unaccustomed to human hands. Here, the value of a camel isn't just measured by weight, but by lineage, strength, and endurance. A well-bred male destined for racing can command a fortune. A sturdy work camel, built for long treks across the desert, is worth its weight in gold to a trader supplying remote villages. Buyers move through the crowds examining the curve of a hump, the length of a leg, the gleam in an eye that signals health and resilience. The global demand for camels never fades. In the Middle East, elite buyers chase bloodlines refined over generations, searching for champions capable of winning fortunes on the racetrack. These animals, lean and athletic, are treated with the same reverence as thoroughbred racehorses. Some will be shipped in luxury, their transport arranged with precision, every detail accounted for. But not every camel's destination is so glamorous. In Saudi Arabia and the UAE, large-scale camel dairy farms require a constant influx of animals to meet the rising demand for milk, believed to be one of the most nutritious and easily digestible in the world. The boom in camel dairy has stretched beyond traditional regions. Countries like China and the United States have entered the market, seeking to capitalize on what was once a niche industry. Australia, an unlikely player in the camel trade, holds a surprising secret. Its deserts are home to one of the world's largest wild camel populations, descendants of animals abandoned by explorers who never imagined they would thrive. Hardy and well adapted to the harsh conditions, they flourished in the wild, multiplying into one of the largest feral camel populations in the world. For decades, they were seen as a nuisance, a species overrunning fragile ecosystems. Then, demand changed everything. Today, thousands are captured and exported, particularly to the Middle East, where their genetics are highly valued. These camels, untouched by selective breeding, are considered some of the purest in existence, a direct link to the animals that once carried traders across ancient trade routes. Not all camels are bound for a life of racing or dairy farming. Many are purchased for their strength, sent to communities where no machine can replace them. In remote villages across Africa and parts of South Asia, they remain an irreplaceable part of daily life. They haul water from deep wells, carry heavy loads across paths too rugged for vehicles, and serve as an economic backbone for families who rely on their labor. In parts of India and Pakistan, elaborately decorated camels are bought for cultural festivals, their bodies painted in intricate patterns, their backs adorned with colorful fabrics. Others are led into religious ceremonies where they are sacrificed in traditions that have endured for centuries. Regardless of their destination, Moving camels across vast distances is no simple task. Unlike other livestock, camels are intelligent, strong-willed, and sometimes unpredictable. Their ability to go long periods without water, while an advantage in the wild, can turn into a liability during transport. Some refuse to drink even when dehydrated, requiring experienced handlers to ensure their survival. Their sheer size and strength make loading them onto trucks and ships an exercise in patience and precision. A single misplaced step can cause panic, sending a half-ton animal thrashing against barriers. Traders and transporters, many of whom have spent a lifetime working with camels, have developed methods to keep them calm, using soft muzzles to prevent biting and padded enclosures to protect them from injury. For the camels waiting at markets and trade hubs, the next phase of their movement is imminent. Whether they are bound for distant deserts, bustling cities, or high-stakes racetracks, their transport requires a delicate balance of tradition, expertise, and modern logistics. The challenge of moving them safely is just beginning. Transporting camels is an unpredictable battle. They kick with bone-crushing force, spit with pinpoint accuracy, and resist confinement with raw power. A frightened camel isn't just difficult. 
It's dangerous, capable of shattering barriers and throwing handlers aside. Unlike other livestock, they have minds of their own, often resisting even the most experienced herders. Loading them onto trucks, ships, and planes requires patience, precision, and deep knowledge of their behavior. Trucks rumble down scorching roads, overloaded with towering bodies pressed tightly together. In Sudan and Somalia, open bed trailers snake through the desert, each carrying restless camels bound for uncertain fates. They are often tied at the knees to keep them from standing, a method that, while crude, prevents injury during the bumpy ride. But long-haul trucking presents risks. The heat inside a stationary truck can become unbearable, and camels, despite their desert resilience, are highly sensitive to overheating. If a vehicle breaks down in the middle of a scorching highway, the animals inside can suffer dangerously high stress levels. Handlers must monitor them constantly, ensuring they stay hydrated and calm during the grueling hours on the road. At sea, camels stand in steel pens as waves toss their world from side to side. The air is thick with the smell of salt and sweat, the low groans of uneasy animals echoing through the cargo hold. These vessels, often the size of small cruise ships, transport thousands of animals at a time, with carefully controlled ventilation and feeding schedules to minimize stress. But not every shipment goes smoothly. A storm at sea can send even the most well-designed enclosures swaying unpredictably, causing injuries to animals that lose their footing. Seasickness, dehydration, and the risk of disease spreading in close quarters add to the logistical nightmares of moving such large creatures by water. Some camels don't cross deserts. They fly above them. In the Middle East, million-dollar racers board private jets, their stalls secured with the same precision as a luxury sports car in transit. These animals receive VIP treatment, often with veterinarians on board to monitor their condition. In some cases, the cost of flying a single camel can exceed tens of thousands of dollars, yet for owners investing millions in elite racing camels, the expense is justified. Pilots must carefully control cabin temperature, as camels are highly sensitive to extreme changes in climate. Even minor discomfort can affect a racing camel's performance, making every detail of their flight a critical factor in their future success. Regardless of the method, every transport operation faces one of the biggest challenges, keeping camels calm. Unlike cattle, which often move together as a herd, camels have strong individual personalities. Some cooperate, others resist with surprising force. Stress can cause them to stop eating or drinking, leading to dangerous weight loss and health complications. Handlers use various techniques to reduce anxiety from familiar scents in their enclosures to soothing vocal commands that mimic the calls of their herders. In some regions, traditional songs are sung to them, a practice passed down for generations believed to ease their tension. Crossing borders adds another layer of complexity. With rising concerns over livestock diseases, camels are subject to strict quarantine regulations. In places like Saudi Arabia, where thousands of camels arrive each year, health screenings are mandatory. Any sign of illness can halt an entire shipment, delaying transport and costing traders thousands in lost time and resources. Identification systems such as RFID tagging have become more common, allowing authorities to track the movement of camels and prevent disease outbreaks. Yet, even with modern technology, transporting these animals remains an unpredictable task. Every shipment carries risks, and every handler knows that moving a camel is never just about logistics. It's about understanding an animal that has survived in the wild for thousands of years. The challenge is not just getting them from one place to another. It's doing so without breaking their spirit. Transporting camels has always been a logistical puzzle, but technology is reshaping the way these animals move across vast landscapes and international borders. What was once an unpredictable and often dangerous process is now guided by precision, efficiency, and a growing emphasis on animal welfare. Yet, even with the most advanced methods, moving a camel is never just about mechanics. It requires an understanding of an animal that has survived the harshest environments on Earth, an animal whose instincts resist confinement, whose strength can shatter barriers, and whose spirit is tied to centuries of tradition. Road transport has long been the backbone of camel movement, especially in regions where these animals are traded in large numbers. In the past, camels were crammed into open trucks, often restrained with ropes or forced to kneel for hours on rough, jolting roads. The risks were immense exhaustion, injury, and even death from suffocation in overcrowded conditions. Today, modern livestock transporters have been designed with the specific needs of camels in mind. 
Custom-built vehicles now feature secure yet spacious compartments that allow animals to stand comfortably without the risk of being thrown off balance. Loading ramps, once rudimentary wooden planks, are now hydraulic, reducing stress and making the process smoother. Some of the most advanced vehicles include temperature-controlled compartments, ensuring that camels moving from desert climates to humid coastal regions don't suffer from heat stress. Yet even with these improvements, road transport remains a delicate operation. Unlike cattle, which tend to move in predictable patterns, camels react differently to confinement. Some stand calmly for hours, while others resist every movement, kicking and thrashing against enclosures. Handlers, often drawing from generations of experience, know that patience is key. Loud noises, sudden movements, and unfamiliar surroundings can send a camel into panic, making it vital to create an environment that feels as natural as possible. For camels that must cross vast oceans, specialized livestock ships now play a critical role in their transport. Decades ago, these vessels were little more than converted cargo ships, offering little protection against rough seas. Conditions were unpredictable, with poor ventilation and inadequate feeding systems leading to high stress and mortality rates. The evolution of modern livestock carriers has changed that. Today's ships are equipped with advanced ventilation systems that regulate air quality, reducing the buildup of heat and humidity that can cause camels to suffer respiratory distress. Automatic feeding and watering stations ensure that animals receive nourishment at regular intervals, removing the reliance on manual feeding schedules that were often inconsistent. The design of these ships prioritizes stability, with specially designed pens that prevent animals from sliding or falling during turbulent weather. Motion sensors installed on some vessels now allow handlers to detect signs of stress, alerting crews to any irregularities before they become dangerous. These improvements have dramatically reduced losses at sea, Yet shipping camels remains a complex task. Even in the most well-maintained conditions, the confinement of a long voyage can take its toll. Unlike cattle, which adapt relatively quickly to their surroundings, camels often struggle with extended confinement, requiring expert handling to prevent agitation. Air transport has revolutionized the way high-value camels are moved across the world. Racing camels, elite breeding stock, and rare genetic lines are now flown across continents in aircraft designed to accommodate their specific needs. Decades ago, the thought of flying a camel seemed almost absurd, but as the demand for elite camels has skyrocketed, so has the investment in their transport. Cargo aircraft are now fitted with custom stalls that secure each camel in place, preventing movement that could cause injury during turbulence. Unlike other livestock which may be transported in groups, high-value camels often travel alone or in small numbers, each receiving individual attention. Veterinarians are frequently on board, monitoring hydration levels, stress indicators, and overall health throughout the flight. Even the cabin environment is carefully controlled, with stable humidity levels and precise temperature settings to ensure comfort. The cost of transporting a single racing camel in this manner can reach tens of thousands of dollars, but for owners investing millions into the sport, the expense is a minor consideration. In the most extreme cases, some camels have even been transported via private jet, a status symbol that reflects the sheer value placed on these animals. Tracking and monitoring technology has further transformed camel transport. RFID microchips, once used primarily for cattle, are now widely implemented in camels, allowing real-time tracking of their health, movement, and ownership details. In countries with strict import regulations, these digital records have streamlined the process, ensuring that only healthy camels cross borders. GPS tracking collars have also become more common, allowing traders and transporters to monitor shipments as they move across vast deserts, ensuring that no animal is lost or left behind. In regions where disease control is a priority, electronic health passports have become essential, reducing the risk of outbreaks that once threatened entire herds. Even with these advancements, transporting camels remains as much an art as it is a science. Technology has made it safer, faster, and more efficient, but no machine can replace the skill of handlers who understand these animals in ways no manual ever could. Moving a camel requires patience, respect, and a deep awareness of an animal that has endured for centuries in some of the harshest environments on Earth. The challenge is not just to transport them from one place to another, it is to do so in a way that preserves their strength, their health, and their spirit. The future of camel transport lies in this balance, merging tradition with innovation to ensure that these extraordinary animals continue to move across the world with the care and dignity they deserve. Across scorching sands, restless seas, and silent skies, camels move in ways few will ever witness. Some are chased by traders, some pampered like kings, 
but all share one truth. They are never truly still. Handlers, traders, and modern logistics ensure each camel reaches its destination safely. Yet beyond the planes and ships, these animals remain symbols of survival and cultural heritage. The next time you see one, consider the miles it has traveled and the unseen efforts behind its movement.